Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're delving into the old world opulence that is Gai in Sarcophage, or Quail in Sarcophagus. Ugh. But hey, no matter how gruesome the name of the recipe, I'm always excited to buy some black truffles. And to use up the rest of the homemade puff pastry I made last week. How convenient is that? Start by cutting four or five inch rounds out of one sheet of puff pastry, placing them onto a parchment lined baking sheet, rolling out some more puff pastry, cutting the same size rounds, and then using a pastry cutter to cut a one inch border for our sarcophaguses sarcophagi. For once, it's easier to say it in French. Brush the edges of the pastry rounds with egg to act as a sort of glue. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. You want to do that as late as possible so you don't heat up the room and start melting the butter in your puff pastry. Top with the pastry borders and brush the whole thing down with more egg. Then we're going to put a sheet of parchment paper on top. This is going to help the pastry rise more evenly. Halfway through baking, about 12 minutes, remove the parchment paper so our little guys can brown. Now it's time to snip open our partially deboned quail. These quails have been deboned except for the legs and wings. We're going to stuff each with a little bit of foie gras, and then we're going to flank the foie gras with thin slices of black truffle. Normally I'd use a truffle shaver, but Babette was using a knife, so I'm just going to try to cut them as thin as possible. Place them on each side like so, and don't forget to season your birds inside and out with salt and pepper. The last thing we want these very expensive ingredients to be is bland. Now it's time to wrap up our little birdies and gently tuck them into their caskets. Run a paring knife around the inside edge of the pastry, removing the lid and creating the little quail sarcophagus. Yes, these birds ended up being a little bit too big for my pastry, but if you think that I'm going to make a new batch of puff pastry from scratch, then you're a very, very silly person. Rub the birds down with a little bit of olive oil and place in a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to make the fig sauce. Start by sauteing a finely chopped shallot and a little bit of olive oil over medium-low heat until soft and translucent. Crank up the heat at Add some quartered figs and saute for one minute before deglazing with a few tablespoons of Madeira wine. Get your fire extinguisher ready, crank the heat, throw in some cognac, and ignite. I don't get to have massive fires on this show often enough. Shake the pan until you're very, 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 very sure that all the flames are out. Alcohol flames can be invisible sometimes, so be careful. And we're gonna throw in a solid three quarters of a cup of demi-glass. I have some of this homemade stuff that I've frozen. Season with salt and pepper to taste. And when I say to taste, I mean, give it a taste. You should always taste your food as you cook it and season sauces right at the end. Let's get our slightly oversized birds out of the oven and let them rest for about five minutes before plating up and saucing. Also, I threw the pastry tops in the oven in the last few minutes of cooking just to crisp them up a little bit. Scatter the figs and sauce around the pastry sarcophagus. And finally, it's time to dig in. Now, I need to say, in full honesty, this was one of those dishes that just did not live up to the hype. It costed like $100 to make two of these things, and to me, it seemed like a waste of truffles and foie gras. But I'm not in 18th century Denmark, so... Hey guys, so if you're looking for a slightly easier, significantly less expensive version of this recipe, check out my book, Eat What You Watch, a cookbook for movie lovers in stores now. Along with a slightly less snooty cahier and sacrifage, it has some fan favorite recipes, some beautiful photography, and of course my snarky observations on food and film. It literally just hit bookshelves today. I hope you guys go check it out.